Looks like it's about time. Oh, he made it so much easier. Let's go and do it. Avada Kedavra. GG. Easy game. I did not. Hello everyone, I'm Digital Halo, and today we have a killer deck. We have the Avada Kedavra Dobby deck. If you like this sort of content, please swish and flick the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. We're really close to 1,000 subscribers, and as a show of my gratitude, I'm giving away one magic pass to a subscriber who likes and comments on this video or the coming videos I make until I hit 1,000 subscribers. Okay, let's get into the deck and talk companions. Our first companion is Hermione, who is fantastic because she uses Avada Kedavra when we do, and if she kills something with it, it counts as one of her four Avada Kedavra stacks. Second, we have Ron just to clear up the field in the mid game. Finally, we have Lottie Turner. Honestly, you could switch this with anything else. I just like her for mana at the end. Usually, we don't get to this point though. Now let's talk about the cards in the deck. First up, we have the one hit KO spell. And of course, to load up that one hit KO, you have to hit four different targets with Avada Kedavra and kill them. It also does 25% more damage every time you kill a unit with it. So if you have a low level Avada Kedavra like me, it will get stronger as the game goes on. Next, we have Priory Encantado, which helps you stack Avada Kedavra, and this should only be used to copy Avada Kedavra in like 90% of the cases. Following that, we have Inflatus, which helps us hit Avada Kedavra on the player whenever we're ready to use it. Next up, we have a cheap rotation spell, Apugno. It's really just there to help you rotate and maybe deal some damage to some creatures that are approaching. Incendio is our clearing spell. This is just my highest level clearing spell. You might want to use Confringo. Next up, we have Stupefy, which is fantastic at keeping some distance between you and some big threats and giving you time to deal with them. After that, we have Nebulous, which is really good against Atmospheric Charm, Thunderstorm, and just overall staying hidden from summons so you don't take damage from them. Fire Crab is my favorite card, and I think it's fantastic defense, especially against mass summon decks. You mix this with Inflatus, and it can really, really help you out. I think this card is super underutilized. Finally, I also want to show you this trick with Dobby, where you can aim your Avada Kedavra in a different direction, and then teleport so that it aims in the right direction. I don't use this in my duels because I just use Inflatus, but if you're in a pinch, this is something you might want to consider. Let's go ahead and take this deck into ranked. We usually want to ban out Hermione, Newt, or Neville with this deck. Newt and Neville are really good bans because they have too many summons for us to deal with and we will get overwhelmed. Hermione is a good ban because she doesn't have enough summons for us to use Avada Kedavra on and stack it up. We don't have the kill spell in our opening hand so we have to wait for it. Time Turner and Niffler. We have to deal with the Time Turner first. Let's go ahead and stupefy him away. No, I should stupefy the time turner away. I used it too fast. My bad. Ooh, we got pulled. We need to go back into our nebulous. And not waste mana, so maybe we should summon fire crap? Ooh, we took a ton of damage there. Obscurus is really strong with him. We teleported into him and he's playing Snape. Horrible idea. He is running circles around us right now. We want to go and incendio the Kevin. I did that because my Avada Kedavra is very low leveled and I couldn't have killed his Kevin outright with my Avada Kedavra. If you had a higher level Avada Kedavra, if my Avada Kedavra was appropriately leveled for the rank I'm playing in, I could have done it. We want to go ahead and Avada Kedavra his time turner, so let's go ahead and play this into Avada Kedavra. Oh my gosh. I'm dumb. The copy of Avada Kedavra is what I confused with the real Avada Kedavra. My dumb there. This guy is running circles around us. All right, everyone. We're in this together now. We have Avada Kedavra up. Let's go ahead and use it on Ron when we can. We dodged his Obscurus without even trying. Perfect. Let's use the copy of Avada Kedavra on the Niffler because I don't want him gaining mana. We need to dodge his Obscurus again. We just made him waste 11 mana. We dodged his Obscurus and then his copy of Obscurus while taking minimal damage. Let's go ahead and put down Ron so we can buy ourselves more time. We have Avada Kedavra fully stacked up so it's just a matter of hitting him with Inflatus and then hitting him with Avada Kedavra. 
which we could do now. I think he's ready to get hit. This'll do it. GG. That feels so good. Oh my gosh. That was so satisfying. I think this is my favorite deck to win with. Not that I win with it all too often because it's a hard deck to play. It has a very high skill cap. Let's go ahead and ban Hermione and get into this game. What does he have a Mastery of Magic on? Probably he's going to play a Bellatrix deck. Yeah, he's playing a Bellatrix deck. His Master of Magic was an Atmospheric Charm and Confringo. Classic Bellatrix. We want to play a Pugno, get our Avada Kedavra, and if he summons anything, we want to be able to use it. He used Crucio on us. Okay, cool. Fire Crab, just so we don't waste mana. We need to get away from his Confringo. We didn't take too much damage from that. That's absolutely fine. Come on, buddy. Play some creatures. Or companions. That's perfect. Hermione into Vada gives us two free stacks on that. Hermione, did you miss the pixies? You're supposed to be the brightest witch of your age. Come on. Gotta do better. Let's Vada Kedavra the Ron. At least get us one more stack. We need to run away from the Crucio. That was a lot of damage. We need to just rotate into Vada Kedavra and the copy of Vada Kedavra so we can get our full stack of Vada Kedavra and KO him. Looks like he's going to summon Death Eaters pretty soon. Perfect. That's a free Vada Kedavra stack right there. Oh my gosh, he pushed Fire Crab away from his Death Eaters Crucio. That was horrible. He did our job for us. He protected our fire crab, although now it's in a useless place. If he summons anything else, it dies to Vada Kedavra. Hermione has too much health, so I'm going to go ahead and run. Run into a Vada Kedavra. Oh wait, we don't have it because I used Stupefy. Not very smart. Let's go and play fire crab to rotate into Vada Kedavra again. And now this fire crab's in a bad place. Let's go ahead and Avada Kedavra Hermione, which we should have done in the first place. Okay, I missed. That was horrible. Let's maybe Avada Kedavra the Death Eater? So many misplays this game. But this is a hard deck to play. I promise, guys, whoever mains this deck is of much higher skill cap than me. I play better with Neville, Hagrid, you know, Hermione, those sort of decks. This is like my third time ever playing Dobby. Fourth time ever playing Dobby. We have our Avada Kedavra fully stacked, so we just need to teleport away and hit him. Looks like it's about time. Oh, he made it so much easier. Let's go and do it. Avada Kedavra. GG. Easy game. I did nothing wrong. I'm the best. Okay, I did a lot wrong that game, but still. All right, next game, we're going to go ahead and ban out Hermione again and play Dobby. Let's go and check out his masteries. Looks like Confringo and Atmospheric Charm, like the last guy. But he's not playing Bellatrix, so let's just rotate into a Vada Kedavra. Fire Crab into a Pugno should do it. Maybe we should stupefy away his Centaur. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Ooh, Locomotor. I do not like Locomotor. And Ron, we're about to get overwhelmed. Maybe we can just summon Hermione and Avada Kedavra things. Incendio might not be bad here either, but I just want to Avada Kedavra things away. Ooh, two free stacks. I wish we had a copy of Avada Kedavra. I used a Pugno instead. My bad. Let's go ahead and Incendio everything away. Go, Fire Crab, go. Alright, almost dead. Does it win? No, it loses. That's not great. Let's go and summon another Fire Crab, because this one will kill it. So this Fire Crab killed it. We need to run away from the Confringo, and we have a Vada Kedavra up again. 
and we have the copy spell. So if he plays anything, we Avada Kedavra it, and then copy. Okay, that's a free Avada Kedavra right there. It doesn't even move. Looks like we got Malfoy Gang with it. That's that's fine with me. Let's go and summon Ron. Okay. If anything survives that, we Avada Kedavra it, and likely something will survive. And that's a free Avada Kedavra right there. Perfect. He's ready to die now. We need to rotate into Avada Kedavra, so we just need to kill everything we can. Hopefully we just stand behind our Fire Crab, and it'll do some of the killing for us. Perfect. We are in the lead. We need to not worry about things. This is a nice stupefy right here. Whenever he stops moving, we can about a Kedavra, but it looks like he's protecting himself with his locomotors. We want to go ahead and hit him with Inflatus and just about a Kedavra right now. Take the risk. We don't want to get overwhelmed. Perfect. Easy. You can make a decent amount of mistakes sometimes and still win with this deck. This is such a stressful deck to play though. Good luck whenever you guys try it out. 